are back again chale and if it's your first time on my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to share with your friends i hope you all are staying safe and washing your hands frequently eating healthy and finding fun activities to do at home just as i'm recording to you so i hope you enjoy it let's go right into the video you, 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 you. I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite travel apps that I use and I would always recommend. So I hope you enjoy it. The first is Google Maps. Google Maps actually helps your navigation very easy. When you want to go to a tourist attraction area, you just um, go to the search engine, type wherever you are going, and then Google Maps will lead you to the place. It will actually make your work easier and stress-free. In case you want to locate the nearest gas station, the nearest um, grocery station, the nearest restaurant, Google Maps does it best. You just type in wherever you want to go, or you can even type in the nearest, um, nearest restaurant near me, and then Google Maps will give you the direction to the place. So, Google Maps is my must have and it's one of my favorites so my next travel favorite app is google translate google translate app is an app where you you can translate whatever you are saying to another language so assuming you find yourself in a different country where the person doesn't speak english but yet you want to ask the person a question you can just use voice or you can text them and then google translate will translate it to the, the language so let's give an example we want to translate how are you from english to spanish we just type how are you in english and then google translate will translate it to spanish so it gives the person the other person that this is what i want to say in english and the person can equally reply and then it will give me the response so it makes communication easy my next app is the xc currency which makes converting currencies much easier now if you have let's say 200 dollars and you want to um convert $200 to any currency you want you just type in $200 and it will give you the option so assuming I want to I want to convert $200 to let's say um, 200 Canadian dollars once I type in the amount it will give me the same amount in that currency so that's what I use to convert because sometimes when you want to buy something and you're like you want to know if this is too expensive in Ghana City I quickly just use the app and then convert it, then I know how much I'm spending. The next favorite is cheap flights. Cheap flight. So cheap flight and Expedia, but I use uh, cheap flights more because cheap flights is good. cheap flight gives you the best available rates, travel rates. So if you want to travel somewhere and you want to know the best price, you always get the best price from cheap flights. I like cheap flights more than Expedia. I don't know why. Most people, most people will tell me they like Expedia. Hit me up in the comment section if you prefer Expedia to cheap flights. So sometimes people think cheap is cheap, <laughs> but sometimes cheap is not really cheap. Cheap is like um, at least saving more for something else. Yeah. So usually that's why I like cheap flights because it gives me it gives me the cheapest flight so I can save more money for maybe shopping or maybe other things. So the next app is Airbnb. I've had Airbnb on my phone for a very long time, but I haven't used it yet. But people who have used this always recommend Airbnb because, I mean, when you find yourself in a country or some anywhere else and you like to stay in a home, not a hotel or a hostel, Airbnb is the right app to use. I haven't tried Airbnb myself, but it's one of my apps I know very well that I'll be needing in future. So in terms of um, looking for a nice comfortable accommodation you can also get it from airbnb it also gives you the cost so you know what you are um, paying for so the next app is the holiday swap what this app does is it allows you to be able to swap um homes with somebody else in another country so as you mean i want to let's say visit dubai i visit the app and see um somebody who was also ready to come to Ghana so if I check his pictures and I realize that oh his home is like suitable for me to swap I go to Dubai and spend some time in his house for free this app 
the, the, the good thing about this app is you don't have to pay rent, you don't have to pay for water, you'll be able to stay in somebody's residence for free, knowing very well that if the person also comes to Ghana, you are also going to do it, host the person for free. But this app is not too... Um, you have to be very careful when you're using this app because you don't know you don't know their families and every family has their rules just as they say when you go to Rome, you do what romans do so every home has its own rules and regulations so you have to comply by them if it's not suitable for you then i don't think this app would be uh, i don't think this app would be necessary for you and the good part about this app is you can also host and not swap so if i want to host i can host, host people coming from another country to Ghana uh, without using their services and there are some um, families that will also host in other countries but will not request for a swap so all depends on what you want and then how, how what, what what works for you so that's what this app does I haven't used it before though but I'm hoping to use it one of my my trips the next app I'm going to be talking about is the bank app now I save with Fidelity Bank, so I have Fidelity Bank. If you save with Echo Bank, you should have an Echo Bank app. If you save with um, Barclays Bank, if you save with um, any bank you have, it's good to always have the app because when you find yourself somewhere in another country where it's um, the only thing available is for you to do transactions online, the app helps it best. My app, for instance, Fidelity Bank, if I am traveling and I don't um, tell them I am traveling, I will not be able to. To have access to my card if i make any transactions there it's either i will not be able to cash out or they'll block my card so every bank and their um, policies so yeah it's, it's a must to also have a bank app because you don't know where what if you lost your your card what are you going to do it's only the app that's going to help you be able to do some few transactions. The last app I'm going to talk about is not just app, they are all social media platform apps, which includes WhatsApp, Twitter, Netflix, Apple Music, and games. Most of the times, these apps, we tend to use them when we are bored. Imagine you have a flight and the flight is in like three hours, what do you do? You are either on social media, WhatsApp, Instagram, Twitter, um, Netflix, watching movies, or Apple Music, listening to music. They are so helpful because they have they 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 keep us um, going. They don't they don't make us bored. And yeah, so my favorite social media app is Twitter, Twitter and Instagram. Yeah, they go hand in hand. Sometimes Netflix, but Netflix is not free. So sometimes when um, when you haven't paid, what happens? It's also Kindle. Kindle also allows you to read books online. So if you're a book person and you like books, yeah, when you go to the app, there are some free books which are on Amazon. You just type in, there are a lot of options. So you just pick whichever uh, book you want and then you read. But most of the um, top books are usually not for free with um, iOS. So that's what I usually do when I'm free and I want to read a book. So guys, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope me sharing my favorite apps with you would make your traveling very easy. And so hit me up in the comment section if you also have this travel app that um, you would like to share. Hit me up in the comment section. Let's get interactive. Until another vlog next time. Mwah, mwah, mwah.